Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Somebody could be wanting to come in and offer you something. Now we have internal conflict as I'm saying that, but 111 on the camera. So you do have some type of new beginning, an offer of like a stable new beginning, an offer of commitment. Yes, right as I'm saying that, the Four of Wands here. We have the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Oh. Clarify the internal conflict card. What is somebody, and somebody is very conflicted here with internal conflict and the Five of Wands. Conflicted about what? Anyways, we'll get back to that in a second. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Oh. Some, somebody may feel like something's not over with you. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Lessons. <laughs> um, Somebody could have ghosted you or something could have come to an end between you and whoever this person is because they're learning lessons like maybe they got uh seduced by another person or they were physically attracted to another person mm, lustful someone's learning lessons here separation is necessary learning divine lessons um what is okay we'll get we'll get clarifiers in a second tell me about the four of wands because somebody could be now want, feeling like they want to commit to you. Tell you about the Four of Wands. The Tower. Somebody could be coming in out of the blue saying that they want to marry you or commit to you. Or they've had some type of Tower moment or unexpected event that's occurring within a commitment or a marriage. Tell you about the Ten of Cups. What's the T? Somebody wants to know if you're happy without them or if you've gotten yourself into a healthy, normal relationship. All right, yeah, somebody's talking, or maybe somebody could be telling, they could be telling somebody that they want this with you, the Ten of Cups, the family, the harmony, the union, all that stuff. But, all right, well, clarify this internal conflict energy. Why is someone so conflict, conflicted? I just heard that not only are they conflicted within, like, themselves, that like, they can't make up their mind, but they also have a lot of external conflict around them that is causing them to be even, you know, it's just a lot of confusion. So tell me more about that. We have five of pentacles. Somebody is conflicted about whether or not they want to leave something behind. But whatever it is that they're trying to decide if they want to leave it behind is toxic. Because it says remain in the darkness or embrace the light. Someone is trying to come, come to, they're trying to realize, oh goodness, I can't talk. They're trying to figure out if they want to leave the toxicity, leave the addiction, the whatever that is, and step into the light. Clarify the queen of wands and lessons. Hiding feelings. Maybe somebody feels very drawn to you too. They feel very attracted to you. What is this Queen of Wands and Lessons? Eight of Pentacles working on what? Temperance. Someone's working on balancing or healing here. Two of Wands. The devil, I'm telling you. This is somebody that has some type of destructive habit or destructive relationship that they're involved in addiction yeah capricorn energy here with the devil they it's like somebody can't figure out if they want to leave all this behind yet what is the four of wands and if they were in some type of toxic marriage or relationship the divine could have intervened to kind of put it into that shit tell me about the four of wands and the tower scorpio energy manifesting you yeah now they want you back so i really feel like something else fell apart for them Okay, they could have tried to, they could have got involved with a karmic who they became involved with because they thought that person was attractive or they got seduced by that person or whatever um, for some of you. But I do feel like this was either someone that was married or in a commitment. But I feel like that situation came to an end and somebody wants you back here, but they have to move into alignment to be with you. Tell me about what this tower moment was. What was the tower? The sun, it could have been something coming to light. What is the tower in the sun? Leo energy, the chariot, cancer energy. Judgment. Someone got some type of karma here. Yeah. Somebody wants another chance though. I'm telling you, somebody wants another chance with you after they've gotten some type of karma. What did this karma look like? We have the knight of cups, Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy. What about the knight of cups and the king of cups? No, this is somebody that's going through a change. Someone's going from a knight to a, a king here. Why now? 
or with the with the Knight of Cups. Wait, that's the Knight of Pentacles. Not the Knight of Cups, the Hermit. Someone's done a lot of soul searching here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups. The Fool. It's like somebody is like ready to be with you now. I don't know. Well, why though? Why do they, yeah, they, why do they think, is it because they've achieved something in their life now? The world. See, they've successfully closed out some, oh, did they finally close out a karmic cycle? Oh. Yep. It's like they kept keeping you waiting, like, while they were dealing with this other situation. But with the Six of Wands in the world, they've com successfully completed something here. Libra energy. And what does that mean for their connection with my collective? The Ten of Pentacles. Wow, very clear. Yep, now this it says long lasting union, marriage, solid foundation. They had to, one foundation in their life had to come to an end before they could try to build on a, really build one with you. How, so what ended up happening with that situation, Spirit? What ended up happening with that situation? The Hierophant, okay. The Two of Pentacles. This is just somebody that has been, why were they trying to hold on to that other option though? The Nine of, nine of Swords out of Fears. Whatever that other situation was, was not good, y'all. I don't know. Hold on. Sage is going a little crazy again. I got to put it out. All right. <laughs> um, why was it a nightmare? They were, whatever that situation was, they regret juggling, holding on to that other situation. Why, why were they holding on to it, though? That's what I'm asking. Clean up, cutting, I told you, cutting karmic ties, doing the inner work. But why were they not leaving it before? Because of their ego and they were still resisting this connection with you? Yeah, they didn't really know what was going on between, like they know now. What's making this person awaken to this connection now? I'm telling you, they got some type of karma. I don't know what it was. Yeah, they've, they've, they've learned the karmic lesson. They've gone, they've paid the karmic debt. Now they're ready to restore balance with you. Yeah, dark night of the soul. Emptiness, disconnection, yeah. Jesus, okay, hold on. Eight of Wands, it's like they, yeah, something is changing rather quickly here. Yeah, they definitely got their karma because they were doing something here. They were trying, yeah. They could have been cheating and they could have been deceiving you in some way. They could have been trying to hide you. What were they doing? Yep. This is somebody that is lustful. This is a player. Yep. Who was having a hard time just being with just you or trying to make up the, make the decision if, if they wanted to be with just you and they were not keep, they were keeping this from you. Yeah. Right. As I'm saying at the high priestess, they were keeping this a secret from you that they still, and they were keeping you waiting. Yeah. Expecting you to put your life on hold. Yep, while they're out there playing mind games, betrayal and toxic. I'm t I can't even, guys. So that's why they're going through karma. Yep, they could have chosen a, 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 another person or situation over you because of money and children. Yeah. Mm -mm. So at the time that this person was dealing with you, they knew that they didn't want, they weren't sure about even wanting to be in a commitment with you, but they could have been doing whatever they could to keep you from moving on. So lying to you, just playing mind games with you. Yeah. So that's why they're going, they, they're going through karma. So tell me more about what's happening here, spirit. I'm going to use this deck or let's see. I, told, I know I saw that they were awakening 
the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. But like that's what I was saying, something that they have finally awakened. Is, is it because of you? Taming the beast, you you make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. They know that they can't have you and also stay in their old ways. So it could be just the fact that this person is feeling like they want to change for you. Like they've never maybe felt that way about anybody else. Like they're what they're they they're they're wanting to let go of that toxic lifestyle because they to be with you. You know what I mean? And I mean that's maybe making them show that it's showing them something about this connection. Beauty and grace, they find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty, and beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. This person doesn't feel good enough for you. They're watching you. They're trying to get information on you. I think this person wants to know if you're happy without them. Because we have Ten of Cups and we have the What's the Tea. They may be trying to figure out why you're so, you look so happy without them. Are you in another relationship? Have you moved on from them? Do they still have a shot with you? Can you guys still have this happily ever after? Do you still want this union? Yeah. Guarded here. Yeah, they are still very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses. Allow them. I was kind of getting that with the King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like this person has been very, very slowly coming to terms with their feelings for you or realizing their feelings for you. And it's because they're very guarded. But we have a divine blueprint. They are going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection. We have this is the second time children has come out and children has come out a lot in the readings lately lack of faith this person may know that because they were childish or they were immature they weren't you know ready for what you are ready for that they could have left you out in the cold because of some type of situation that happened with their children children are affecting this connection be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all so yeah they they kind of like put you on the back burner maybe while they were trying to tend to another situation and it says that they regret doing that now. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, they just, they were single and they just had a lot going on and they just felt like they needed to, they didn't have the space for you. And they just wanted to be single while they were going through some type of situation in regards to children. This person literally was dealing with other people or dealing with at least one other person. They maybe even tried to use the, the situation with whatever was going on with their kids as an excuse for why they kept left leaving you on the cold. Leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, regrets which has made them lose hope in, a situ in the situation. Why? Why is children here? I don't know, guys, but they're going to be back. Because they're going to realize that... For some of you, they're going to realize that... Their fears when it comes to you stems from childhood wounds and it doesn't have anything to do with you. There are others of you, they're just going to realize that whatever they... The reason that they were scared of you, it was just unfounded. It was not, they had no reason to feel that way about you. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. And the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. What you thought to be lost forever will, will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. I definitely do feel like um, this separation was, a, a separation between you and this person was necessary. You know, twins do go through separation periods. Um... Yeah, they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there is nothing to give. They have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. This person puts you on a pedestal. They think you're way out of their league or they think that you're too good for them. What does endings mean for my collective? Endings? Unseen factors? See, I feel like there, there was an ending that occurred between you and this person, but it's not permanent. I mean, unless you want it to be permanent. Um, I also feel like what you don't know is that they're going through an ending. Like they're finally letting go of a karmic. Like they finally have learned the karmic lesson. They're letting that situation go. And it's because they are awakening to their feelings and emotions for you. It says they entered your life to test you and teach you and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. So they're in the process of finally closing out a karmic cycle. Because they're awakening to their love for you. So tell me more about this. What's what's causing this person to awaken to these feelings and emotions, to the truth of how they feel about my collective? Something to do with a divine intervention here, which I think I already met. We have the tower here. It's some type of tower moment that happened. They are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Yeah. What did this towers look like? The journey. What did the towers look like for this person? The witch. 
the fight. I don't know, guys. For, all I know is that you guys have manifested this with the witch. Whatever this is that's about to happen with this person, I'm coming in out of nowhere and like ready to actually be with you and settle down with you and choosing you completely is something that you manifested. Um, I definitely see that you've been through a lot with this person with the journey card coming out. Um, they are about to come in here and try to fight for you. And they're really trying to overcome their fears of love to be with you, to actually be with you. But again, spirits are not telling me what this tower moment looks like. I don't know. All I know is that they've had a realization. They're going through some type of upheaval in their life. It's almost like this person had the ability to do the right thing, but they didn't. And because this card says they're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. So they let the universe take the wheel. But I don't think that they really, they probably didn't like how, because when, see, the universe gives you opportunities to do what you already know you're supposed to be freaking doing. And then once you you keep up running and avoiding and you're, you know, you keep letting fear hold you back and all those things, then it's like the divine has to intervene. And I always feel like when the divine intervenes, it's a lot worse than if you would have taken that action and done it for yourself. And I feel like that's what maybe will happen with this person. But I still, again, don't know what the tower moment was. Because they're not telling me for whatever reason. We have haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream how they broke your heart. Oh, so for some of you, they're just, they're going through it. Like they, we did it. Don't we have the nine of swords that came out? I'm pretty sure we did. Um, it's a, They're haunted by what they've done to you. You moving on with somebody else. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't sleep at night. Tell me more. It's something about whenever this person walks away from you or they let you walk away from them or you have to set boundaries with them and pull back your energy or they betray you. They are taunted. They are, they, they, they're in turmoil. Yeah, it's like, it's like to the point where they can't deny that there's something here. Yeah, we have new perspective. Tell me about that new perspective. Yeah, they've always had these feelings and emotions for you. But yeah, the problem is, is that you're dealing with a person that has a history of being very lustful. I don't know if this person was ready to leave that behind. <laughs> Excuse me. They're going to regret it, though. That's already come out. They are having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly. Guys, I'm going to just be quite, I'm going to be frank with you guys, okay? Um, you have a twin flame here coming back towards you who was definitely betraying you when they were dealing with you. They were definitely sleeping with other people. They definitely had a whole other karmic that they were maybe with possibly even married to or in a living with or committed to um and this person is in they've realized they've had an awakening now or they're starting to awaken so that they really loved you that they did all these things to you out of their they were running from themselves um out of fear of true intimacy out of true love they had that you didn't deserve these things they have a lot of regrets and they do they're gearing them to come towards you okay shoot their shot but um, they are looking at things differently. And they, it's like, this, I just want to be honest with you guys about what I see here. That's exactly what this person was doing, like, when they were dealing with you. But they were doing this as a means to run from themselves or to avoid having to heal or... They, they did it out of this it's self-sabotage that's all i can say what did that one card say they've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors this person didn't know how to handle a good thing when it presented itself to them unfortunately let's get a few of these see but here's the thing too guys i see that this person is very sure about you because i kind of just saw that what did i just see um the baggage card. They still maybe have some stuff they need to still get sorted out. Or they just still have a lot of like work to do. A lot of healing to do. I feel like this person still doesn't have too much to offer you. I see that they're serious about you. They know how they feel about you. They're wanting to be in something committed with you. Um, but I feel like this person doesn't feel like they have much to offer you. Or that's how you may view it when they come toward you. I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I am, I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you, but I don't, I do want to offer you something more valuable than, the, than before. So it's almost like they're going to come in and offer you a commitment and it, it may not be like everything. It may not be like, how do I say that? It's going to be different than what they gave you before. 
It's going to be more than what they gave you before, but still not everything that you deserve. Like, it's not going to be everything that you really want. It won't be like your ideal relationship situation with a person. But this person, they're wanting to come in and give you more than what they gave you before. But see, here's the thing. They still, like I said, a lot of baggage. I am connected to my karmic partner due to responsibilities. I want to face my issues head on and work through things before I return. I know it's not easy, but I'm trying my best. So maybe this person isn't going to, they know that at this time they couldn't give you everything that you deserve. So maybe they're trying to get that situation sorted out before they come towards you. I don't know. I kind of see them coming towards you, but trying to give to you more than they did before, but still not able to give you everything because they are still in this other situation, still trying to get themselves out of some things here. They got a lot of baggage that they're still needing to clear out. Yeah, regret, afraid, and they're still pretty guarded too. Afraid they made the wrong decision. Feels troubled or, or remorseful for what they had. How many times has regret come out, guys? Sees you happy while they are miserable and can't move on. I told you. They want to know what's going on with you. Why are you so happy? Why are you looking so good? Like, do you have another person? I told you. Inner child healing. I have made and used excuses in order to control or sabotage our connection. But now I realize the only way to heal is to mend, acknowledge, and forgive my past. One more. All right. So we have glow up here. I'm working on myself every day. I hope to improve spiritually and emotionally to become a better person that deserves you. I am slowly moving forward in my life and I hope to reunite with you one day. So this person doesn't feel that they deserve you and it's true. Um, you deserve better than somebody that was going to be playing mind games with you and projecting and taking all of their trauma and all their hurt out on you. Um, wanted to told you what you wanted to hear so that you wouldn't leave them while they did the unthinkable with lustful desires over here somebody that was sleeping around on you but we do have cosmic love on the back of the deck it says even though we are not together we are connected through and through when i sleep i dream of you when i'm awake i think of you i am able to feel you as if you are physically here so what i was about to say see they're they're they feel like they're with you. They're with you in the 5D. Like, there's always this connection between you and this person. But they are with some type of karmic partner. That they're having a lot of... Tur yeah, that's their freaking tower. Or karma. Is this karmic partner. I mean, that's what you... That's what karmic partners are for. But I feel like they're going to close out that cycle. Turbulent with plenty of highs and lows. Red flags, codependency, arguments, miscommunication. They test us in our understanding of love and relationships. They're having a hard time letting go of this, but they also feel like time is running out to be with you. The twin flame card, to be with you. So this person's still trying to work up the courage to even reach out to you and tell you that they're changing. They're trying to change their life. I'm working on myself. I want to be better for you. I want to build a life with you. They're trying to work up the courage to say this to you, okay? Um, they may come in and talk to you by the end of spring for some of you. They're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities. You could as well. It's like they're physically with somebody else, but they're spiritually with you. Probably what I'm going to name this reading. They don't feel like they deserve you, and they don't. Not right now. They're, that's why it says they're trying to work on being more deserving of you, but I don't know. Some things, guys, you know, you can't come back from. They did a lot from what I can see here. But they are starting to awaken. And I do see them closing out that karmic cycle. And closing out that karmic cycle. 